this problem, we will calculate the pH of a buffer solution. That's 0.2 molar ammonium ammonia with 0.20 molar ammonium chloride. So one of the first things we have to recognize is our conjugate acid-base pair. A buffer is just a combination of a weak acid with a weak base, they're conjugates. Another thing we need to realize is that um, the Cl minus here from ammonium chloride is a spectator ion. It will not participate in any of the acid-base reactions. So the conjugate acid-base pair here is ammonia, which is NH3, with the ammonium ion NH4+. Both of these are at a concentration of 0.20 molar. So both of this represents a buffer. And in part B of the problem, we will add some acid. And from that acid, we will determine what the pH is going to be. So remember, a buffer should resist any real significant or any real wild changes in the pH. The first thing we will do to approach this problem is uh, write the Ka for this reaction. The NH4 plus uh, ammonium ion will donate a proton uh, to water and becomes ammonia, its conjugate base, and we get H3O plus, which is the same thing as a proton, which is the same thing as the hydroammonium ion. So just some words on nomenclature here. This is called ammonia, and this is um, NH4 plus is the ammonium ion. Uh, the conjugate acid to ammonium ion is the ammonia. The conjugate base to the conjugate base is water. The conjugate acid is the proton, H3O plus. Looking up the Ka for this, we get a value of 5.8 times 10 to the minus 10, a very small number. So most of this reaction is going to stay on the left hand side, but enough of it is going to go in that direction to the right to register a pH, which is ultimately what we want to solve in this problem. So we have pH is equal to pKa plus the log. If you want to know what goes inside the fraction, uh, you do drop the acid. That's a little memorization technique. Drop the acid, meaning the acid goes in the denominator, and which means the conjugate base goes in the numerator. So pKa is minus the log of Ka, and the Ka here is 5.8 times 10 to the minus 10, plus the log of the concentration of the base with the acid. So if you look at the problem, uh, both of these are at a concentration of 0.2 molar, right? 0.2 molar NH3 with 0.20 molar NH4 plus. We don't put any units inside the log. So 0.20 uh, over 0.20 is 1, log of 1 is 0, so you basically it's the minus the log of the 9 point, uh, minus the log of the Ka, and on my calculator, that yields an answer of 9 point. So part B, we're going to disturb this buffer. The way we disturb this buffer is by adding a acid. So HCl represents a strong acid. It's one of our six strong acids. We add 10 milliliters of a 0 0.10 molar concentration, HCl. We're going to add it to 65 milliliters of our buffer. So the total volume here is going to be 75 milliliters. What's the pH when we add this strong acid to this buffer? The first thing we want to do is figure out after we mix these two species together, that is the strong acid with the buffer, what's the final concentration uh, after mixing? 10 milliliters of a 0.10 molar HCl, total volume is 75 milliliters. Mills, mills cancel. So 10 times 0.1 divided by 75 is gives us a final concentration of 0.0133 molar, big M. And now we'll figure out the final concentration of the buffer. So um, fortunately in this problem, the concentration of both species is a 0.20 molar. We have 65 milliliters of the buffer and the concentration is 0.20 molar, both of the conjugate base and the conjugate acid. Uh, be a little bit more complicated problem if uh, the acid and base of the buffer were at different concentrations. Uh, but they're at the same concentration, which is 0 0.20 molar. Again, total volume is 75 milliliters. ML, ML cancels. The final concentration of our NH3, NH4 plus buffer is going to be 0.1733 molar. And don't forget our buffer here is in the capacity of NH3 and the NH4 plus. So really, any acid will react with the NH3, any base will react with the NH4+. Now, when we add the strong acid in the form of HCl, what happens is that it will react with the NH3. Okay, that is, the, in essence, what a buffer is. If we add a base, it will react with the NH4+, but in this problem, we're adding an acid. And we're adding the strong acid, HCl. 
So now, what is the equation, the chemical equation that is derived from adding H plus to the NH3? We will write that down now, plus the H plus. So remember, uh, HCl is a strong acid. It, it's close to 100% uh, ionization to H plus and Cl minus, but the Cl minus is a spectator ion. So uh, don't worry about the Cl minus from the HCl. And so the H plus will react with the ammonia ion NH3 to give us NH4 plus the ammonium ion. Uh, it's a strong acid, so all of the H plus will be consumed or all of it will react uh, in our ice table. So 0.1733 and 0.0133 of our strong acid. Actually, the NH4 plus concentration is 0.1733 also. Uh, the strong acid, all of it will react. How much is all of it? All of it here is 0.0133. Okay, that is the extent to which all of the H plus will be consumed. Once again, HCl is a strong acid, 100% formation of H plus and all of it is going to protonate the NH3. All of it, once again, is 0.0133 worth of H+. And then the NH4 plus uh, concentration will also be 0.0133 as the reaction completely goes to the right-hand side. So 0.0133 minus 0.0133, doing that subtraction is 0 0.1600. Concentration of NH4 plus, uh, don't forget that that's part of our buffer is 0.1733. Initially, initially we have this buffer that's uh, equal concentrations of NH3 and NH4 plus after the equilibrium and then after the reaction of the strong acid, um, where all of the proton is going to get consumed, the NH4 plus ammonium ion concentration will be 0.1733 plus 0.0133, uh, which is about 0.1. 833 something, 0.1866 molar actually. So we have presence of both base in the form of NH3, acid in the form of NH4 plus, conjugate acid, conjugate base pair. Let's go ahead and put it into the henderson hasselbach equation. Like before, anytime you do the henderson hasselbach equation, when you need to memorize it, you want to put the acid in the denominator, so drop the acid. PK a is minus the log of Ka. We already got that in part A, which is about 9.24. So to avoid any math, extra math, I'll just go ahead and write that in as pKa is 9.24 plus the log of NH4 plus. NH4 plus is 0.1866. We'll put that in the denominator and the numerator NH3 is 0.1600. Let's do this on our calculator here. Uh, first thing we'll do is uh, compute the, the fraction 0.16 divided by 0.1866. That's that uh, fraction. We'll log that. We get minus that number and then plus the 9.24. Gives us our final answer of 9.17. So a final word, we added pretty much a strong acid right? HCl is a member of our six strong acids. And we added this, we computed a pH of 9.17. The pH went down uh, by only a little bit. So by itself, without acid, the pH was 9.24. And with the presence of 10 milliliters of a 0.10 molar HCl, the pH only went down by about 0.1 units to 9.17. That really was really is the essence of a buffer. It goes down only a slight, slight bit um, when you add the acid. So really that buffer is neutralizing the added strong acid of HCl so that your pH only goes down, in this case, by only about one pH unit or so.